setting up here on the stage that we have seen since such an early age. Some of them friends, some of them not, but in the end, together, we have been through a lot. Together, we made it all the way here to a day to bring up memories that we will keep so dear. All of the fun we have had with our friends and all the more we will have until summer ends will be kept in our hearts for years to come. 
saying goodbye, friends feeling so blown. But look at what we are now, graduating class about to take our last bow, entering a new part of our lives, ready to take on all that arrives. Some of us will continue to college, where we will succeed and gain so much more knowledge. Others will follow their own dreams and reach them and beyond to all extremes. We are ready to move on. Soon, we, the class of 2012, will officially be gone. All of your faces up on this stage will be instilled in my heart like some sort of flake. We have watched each other grow, and from many to us, we must go. The feeling is simply bittersweet. Soon, each of us will walk across the stage where our diplomas we will greet. So to all of you, class of 2012, congratulations. We have finally exceeded all NHS expectations. Good job, Kate. Kate left better. Kate left better. Kate L. Good job, Kate. Nice speech. but also overwhelmed because now I had one more essay to write and then read it in front of hundreds of people. I'm sorry, but you guys are an intimidating bunch. I had so much on my plate with school, work, activities, friends, and of course my family I said hi to every so often. At this point, sleep became optional. All of this combined made me realize that if high school has taught me anything, it's taught me about stress. Stress. I feel we talk about everything in high school, from how to organize our binders to how to make things turn pink, but we never touch upon stress. It's one of those topics everyone knows about but wants to avoid because of how well stressful it is. The only true way to learn about stress and manage it is through experience. We all picture stress differently. For me, stress means hours of coffee-induced work followed by a crazed gremlin look that appears on my face when somebody asks me how I'm doing or if I need help. Help my parents hope I didn't need because I'm not a pleasant person at two in the morning. <laughs> Who is? Stress is something we all have, and how we handle it determines if we are going to succeed at whatever task is given to us. There's a catch about stress. With stress comes all the things that go wrong, and we all know these things only happen when you're on the verge of a mental breakdown. My experiences with stress are similar to my classmates, and probably similar to yourselves. We all seem to have computer or printing problems, right? such as when there's a paper due, it's approaching one or two in the morning, and when you go to print it out, your printer only prints half the words on each page until it blank, blinks, spazzes out, and finally shuts down. No, these things do not happen. Printers just hate us after business hours. Sometimes stress is caused by people, not printers. As when a certain project partner steps on half a castle I spent hours working on, and believe it or not, saying I storm the castle does not make the situation less stressful to slightly more easy. And yet, this is where the gremlin look comes out. Stress is also caused by time. As it begins to run out, you get more and more stressed. And I've tried so many things to make time wait for me, but it never did. It casually kept strolling along, not caring that I had a million things to do by morning. Now this is when stress defines you. You can stare at your enormous amount of work, freak out, cry until someone comes and helps you, or you can take a deep breath and start to find a solution that does not involve tears. If you do not learn to handle stress, it will follow you around like a little puppy, constantly barking at you, nipping at your heels, and distracting you from your goals. High school has taught me how to train this metaphorical puppy, for the most part. I learned to rely on some, but not others, ask for help every once in a while, maybe even take a break after the caffeine runs out instead of refueling. But the most crucial thing I learned was how to prioritize the important things in my life. My family and friends helped relieve my stress by reminding me there's a whole different side to high school than homework. Imagine that. Halfway through high school, I decided that the work I had to do could be done more efficiently, so I had still had time to attend my after-school meetings, go out with my friends, even have Sunday coffee with my Nima. Tell me if I'm wrong, but consistently getting four hours of sleep a night is not healthy. And once I found my first wrinkles around my eyes, I knew I had to change that part of my life. Stress, however, cannot be completely cut out of our lives. I bet you remember The Lion King. Simba had to wake up from his life of Hakuna Matata to save his kingdom, which if I were in his place, I'd be a little stressed out. 
We need to learn what in our lives matters to us, and, these, and those things come first. Everything else can wait. We need to learn that stress is simple, and is very simple. We can accept the things that will happen when we are stressed, and learn to avoid them. Since we all love technology, we have learned to put papers on several different sources where it can be saved. We have learned to move projects off the floor to avoid it being crushed or having pieces magically run away. I took my, it took my entire high school career to figure that out, and it has made me realize that it does not matter how much work I get or how much time I have. If I can manage my stress, then things will get done in a smooth manner. Having confidence in your own abilities alleviates stress, because stress also comes from not believing you're capable of doing the task. But if you're given a task, it is for a reason, and you can handle it. I tell myself over and over that I can do this, it will get done, and it will be over. I have the proof. I managed to write the speech and tell all of you about it. Thank you.